of the opponent, but actually the players are now already, so... So yeah, this is the eighth Sunday Cup for the spring season, and it is Demon versus Cypher, the first quarterfinal match we will cover today. So let's have a look and see this. See how this goes. Yeah, Looks standard like standard start yeah. uh, in terms of what Cypher is doing. I'm gonna switch off. I wanna I wanna follow uh, Demon to see what he's doing. He has a good stack and he has weapons. Now I think I mean it's now it's now this battle for the LG and actually uh, following what what's happening there. Um, so the next red is in a few moments, and the question is where is Cypher? Uh, it was a great rocket hit from Demon to kind of deter Cypher and slow him down. So now Slice is actually playing kind of behind on the stack. He's only got 89 armor. So yeah, it's all about how S like Cypher knows now that to get this Mega, he's most likely taking damage. So I'm actually surprised he's put himself in this spot. He drops back for the yellow. Cypher's in a hard position. How is he going to deal with this? He goes for damage onto Demon. Oh no, Demon. Oh no, this is no. so bad for Demon. He has such a huge advantage. It's all just disappeared. Now Cypher is just there like like smirking to himself like ha you made a mistake i was in a horrible position on slifer and now you're dead and now he gets the red as well yeah yeah this is exactly what happens um okay unfortunate but you know there is a lot of time for uh demon to recover this is just a question of how much cypher will push excellent uh, for him to hit a rail and we are going to see what happens with this Mega. I mean, the Mega is up and Demon is doing decent damage. It's just this Cypher being around and that rocket didn't work for him. So if I were, si well, I cannot say really if I were Cypher, but uh, you know, it, it's the time to leave, uh, leave the fight. And actually, yeah. It's it's all it's all about Cypher now. I want I want to see him just playing this way and just you know. Look, look how confident he is, like he's backing off, but not too much. It's always like at the range where he could eventually do a bit of damage and try to be sneaky. And, and not so many people can do that. I mean, it's not... Fine line. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's really about... Wow, yeah. This is just perfect play. And now he's going to steal the red. Well, will he be no. diving in there? Managing to deter Cypher, and Cypher's going to have to back away once again. But he's, he's got one, one frag lead, and Demon's on 130, 200. So Cypher is definitely very interesting to watch right now because, of course, being such a smart and experienced player, you would expect to look for him for an example of how, how do I deal with this horrible situation. He should now be, be you know, lighting up the hearts of you know, millions of Quakers around the world <laughs> of where they, will like, they want to see a really good player play in such a, a disappointing position. Because whenever you find yourself in this spot, you're like, oh, God, I get oh God. I should just leave the game. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I want Demon to keep pushing Cypher to this because this this is so so you know interesting to watch. It's just Cypher doing doing this difficult thing of just playing out of control, and he's doing it very very you know, yeah, just hitting hitting these shots. Um, I don't know what what do you think what do you think demon should actually be doing because he's the one or supposedly is the one in control and somehow frags are not happening well demon is is off as uh, shown before sometimes he can struggle with control to catch up with really smart players in furious heights and it's always very difficult because if you cannot read or predict <coughs> what your opponent is going to be doing then you will get behind because Cypher's not going to miss those shots he's not going to miss that damage and he's always going to put himself in those right spots and it's always going to be that kind of gamble that kind of uh, you gotta, that you got to predict and you've got to get a little bit lucky sometimes and then if you do get lucky you can often end up with a lot of damage which then leads into another situation where oh you know oh crap they can't they can't be as ballsy now so they have to go for items back off but here's a fight over the red and demon oh my wow. god the rockets of cypher that cypher movement rockets. that little jump that it did to dodge and actually hit this rocket was oh my god but the return from demon is also working fantastic yeah yeah that's that's such a, a, a i don't want to say lucky situation because of course the rockets were great from demon. and but it's such a the spawn at least was very fortunate to give, give him that opportunity to get back in the game and now Demon has to basically consistently deal damage, predict what, where Cypher is going to be, and then deal a little bit of damage here and there. Because Cypher cannot replenish as fast as Demon can for armor. And so every little bit of damage Cypher takes is twice as bad for him as it is for Demon. And now Demon pulls out, should pull out the LG and just finish yeah, this. Yeah, I was thinking that one. the second time was probably not necessary. But in a sense, probably Demon is trying to not get too much damage. And Cypher finally, one situation where he really leaves 
uh, you know, without without really trying to do too much damage, probably. There you go, that fights. And Demon is going to be able to try and get those angles, and Cypher's being really... Demon's giving Cypher a lot, lot of respect. respect yeah. And it's, I don't know if it's... It's something that can sometimes bite you in the rear end, because you're going to be missing on opportunities and by just letting the gravitas of your opponent and his reputation get the better of you. So we're hitting the halfway mark and it's tied 2-2 two to two in this quarterfinal, which is it's best of 3. So so what, what's weird to me is that it seems that Demon is more comfortable with this contested control situation rather than him being the one in control. Probably because of how strong Cypher is in playing just out of control and just being sneaky yeah, he's, in a he's sense. He is uh, worryingly comfortable with that position. Yeah, yeah. And it, it seems like, like it's better for, for Demon to just give something for Cypher to pick up so that at least he, he knows that Cypher will be there um, in a sense and he can try to do to, to the damage. Because like this, this um, long mid, long range fighting, is, it's working well for Demon. I mean, it's not... Yeah, look at that. I mean, he managed to, to take all the items without taking too much damage and and so now it's the question is like like now Cypher goes ninja and yeah we should switch to Cypher again to once again do that thing where we see how he plays the situation and you can see there's a lot of good damage for Demon and now Cypher's really in a lot of trouble he's actually probably going to die here unless he does something insane nothing insane but he does do quite a lot of damage but at least the red is there for Demon a smart Demon to take the fight when he's already on very high armor and leave the red up so he can take it later and get the full 100. So nice little move there from Demon. Now Mega's up as well. So as we're on Cypher, we can try to work out to see like how Cypher's going to plan to get back in the game. Because he's now one frag up, uh, frag behind and Demon is running 200-200. So this is the worst that Cypher has seen the game be. Yeah. And so now, again, we get to look at these, these situations. So Cypher is a little bit damaged, moves back around to the yellow. is trying to see if it's safe. Because that yellow is going to spawn relatively soon next 10 seconds or so and Cypher doesn't really care in this position he knows how stacked Demon is he, kn he doesn't care too much about taking a red or a mega or dealing damage he cares about just getting something at this point yeah yeah and slowly being able to build up and, and so he can be a little bit more ballsy a little bit more ballsy and all the options start to open up the more stacked he gets but Demon's doing the perfect plays yeah, and yeah. connecting the damage I mean all those rails that he's been hitting are, are really crippling uh, Cypher so let's let's reach again to him. I, I really wish there was like a killed, a follow killed instead of follow mm. killer, um, so, so that we could really follow the, the player out of control. And I don't know. I mean, maybe you know, if Demon keeps hitting those raids and like not not doing a mistake like at the beginning of the match, he could really win. Uh, you know, a, a very good game against Suffer. I mean, it's only two minutes left now. Two frags, which is not you know, it's not much. Yeah. But the point is is to get to the point where you, you can do those frags. And actually, if Demon keeps hitting this way, I just don't see Cypher having enough. It, it, it really seems that now, now Demon is doing an excellent job at reading where Cypher is. And it's kind of confusing because usually when you, when you follow Cypher, it's just so obvious what the opponent is doing. And, and it is just not here. Like, like it's, it seems like, like Demon is really a, ahead, in a sense, in, in reading his opponent. It's funny as well because both players, like Cypher's hitting 22% rail, Demon's hitting 32% rail, uncharacteristically low for both players. But time's running out, Cypher's going to be forced to do something soon, a, a minute and a half. I mean, it's just one frag, and you can assume that the one frag leads to a spawn frag. That's the assumption here. So Cypher's probably only thinking that he's behind one, one frag. So yeah. he wants to make a play where at like 9.30, 9.40, he goes for the fight, giving him 20 seconds to make the spawn frag or so afterwards. And Although, I mean, in, in a map like this can be very dangerous. I mean, it's not, it's not really granted that he will get... Any. Oh, great read oh, from Cypher. And that was amazing that he read that. And he jumped straight to the teleporter, knowing that his, his options are very risk. Like, if... Oh, I was going to say, if Demon gets the, the items, that his chances get harder and harder and harder. And now it's 9.20 on the clock. He's got 40 seconds. And he's got no time. He has to find yep. an engagement. It's going to be terrible for him. He's going to be completely at a massive disadvantage. But it has to, he has to make it work. And we've seen it happen before. Can he do it again? Demon in this spot. This is such a great spot to defend from. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He can go everywhere here. He can basically... Oh, nice right over there. <laughs> yeah, well, over there. The spam of the rocket was... Yeah. Big fight. 
but actually yes, Demon is the one in control. So, GG, I mean, impressive, impressive result. Map uh, one for Demon, this is, this is basically his map. So, yep. this is definitely a great start for him, something that he needed. He needed, needed, needed to win this first map, Furious Heights, against Cypher to actually have any chance yep. and to topple Cypher. So let's see what can happen on the next map. I think that it only can only get worse for him from now on out, but we'll see. Well, you have to factor in like... like oh, Hectic, uh, I forgot. Is Hectic coming up? I'm not sure if Hectic was... It must have been dropped by Cypher. Surely. I surely, am. surely. Well, we are moving now to... Uh, Airwalk, it seems, which I'm surprised because I thought it was removed. Um, yeah, so so in that sense, yeah, it, it's going to be harder for Demon in terms of the maps, but he has this confidence that he built, and the question is how, how does Cypher react to losing the match? I guess the one thing to note is whether or not Cypher's feeling that he was hitting 22% rail, because on a map like this, you don't want to be feeling like you're hitting less than 50% rail. Yeah. And 22% is quite significant. I mean, if he, in a lot of situations in that game, if he'd been hitting 15% more, he could be a completely different game. Yeah. So. Well, we are, we are going to find out uh, as the players are ready. So Three, second map. Two, Match point for Demon. One. First quarter final game, Sunday Cup number eight. Demon straight in with some rockets, and Cypher, right off the start is in a terrible position and oh demon going very aggressive here for the first frag yeah this he could rocket jump for the red no it takes the tele the um, bump. yeah this this i was gonna say this could be potentially really dangerous for demon, but he gets the frag anyway with i mean the, it was all on that rail though i don't know if i like the decision because he put it down to the pressure of that one rail but he did hit it and now cypher off the spawn has to deal with a lot of pressure a lot of damage coming out from demon as demon pushes his way in and demon has to be careful not to be too aggressive and cypher with the little rails there hits the second oh one man. amazing shots from Cypher. Eight health left for Demon and he does miss the clutch, clutch, clutch rail. And now Demon is feeling the pressure still but at least he can take a rail. Oh! Oh man. Oh! I don't know if Cypher predicted that he would get pushed off there. And now this changes everything. Demon is semi health. I mean there is time and the thing is that Cypher can actually stack up on the other armors and basically make it even in terms of the pickup. So it's it's all about the next uh, mega now, and Cipher is in position. So, and what Demon did here? Oh, he wanna <laughs> so nice, yeah, good drop. And, and Cipher probably Cipher somehow re read that because he just you know stepped out. And uh, I'm gonna switch. I wanna see what what Cipher is doing. He managed to pick a red, and now the two major items are in sync. And so it's all a question of whether the two players are gonna exploit that or not. Yeah, that's for sure. Here we go. Coming on to Demon's position. That's a great, great little aggression there from Cypher. Playing tactically very well, getting brutal efficient damage. And look at that, being annoying, using teleporters, darting around, flying around there. Walk here as we have 20 armor left for Demon now as he puts down the rockets and rails back onto Cypher. But Cypher has traded damage so damn well right now that yeah. Demon has just found his situation go from amazing to terrible. After this pickup of this Mega, he, oh, did he yeah, look, that look, look wow. at that. Now the, the red has been denied with the rail, and actually Cypher could, in theory, take the yellow and take the, the other green. Actually, Demon managed to get that. Uh, but still, it was, it was um, a good situation for Cypher overall. And and I'm, I'm actually surprised that the score is so low. And, and, and about the hitting, I, c I can really say that it looks like Cypher is not hitting the rails. And uh, in a sense, y you could see that s some of the moves it does were based on, well, I'm, I'm going to hit that, and then it doesn't happen, and then he has to, to fall nice. out. But finally, uh, the shots are Yeah, good. they're both below 30% of rail, but that Cypher to 35%. And here you go. He goes for the fight and 24 health left on demons, so this is one of those situations in Arrow which can be interesting because yeah. it's like, okay, you traded a, fra a frag, but actually it, if you are very certain you can trade it back very quickly off the spawn, then it's not not necessarily a bad situation. It can actually ha leave you in a better better spot, and that's a great jump rail. And Cypher even hits the second one, now connecting <laughs> shots like that, pushing him up to 40% of the rail. He's going to be feeling a lot better about himself as he now has more than enough health and armor to charge up the stairs. What? That must be lag or something. You never, you never see Cypher. All the dodging. I don't know. Oh, it, no, it really felt like he was just lagging yeah. behind. It's, with, it's, with the enemy. it's like the perfect place to stand because if he's in the middle, a uh, demon can't splash him, and he has to hit a direct. 
and then Cypher's not moving, so he's yeah. not dodging. So it's like a perfect little dodge to just stand still in the middle of the stairs. It's, it's really, because uh, Demon also c can't hit the floor. Yeah. So it's like really, really nice. And uh, Cypher is definitely very good at being efficient with trying to minimize damage with yeah. dodging. And there you go, he's trying to battle for this Mega. And above is Demon around this red area, spamming those grenades down. But he's got now Cypher coming up to try and jump through those grenades. And he's getting hit by a little bit of damage here and there by them, by the splash of the grenade. But now he's in position, and Demon is feeling very, very anxious. He's like, oh, Cypher's there, I don't want to go up. Cypher with the rocket jump. Again, winning that position enough oh, to get the rocket jump. That's such good textbook play from Cypher. Switches back to the LG after missing the shot. Not ideal, like losing an extra 100 health and armor there, but he, it's, it's solid, solid from him. You know, you can't always hit the shots. So I love it from Cypher. He's really exerting his quake muscles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Actually, that could have turned the game uh, quite quickly, uh, as Cypher only had like uh, 60 health or something. Yeah, four frag deficit for Demon. So it's not it's not passing too quickly. Cypher is uh, definitely playing well, but Demon is playing very, very well also to manage to keep the score pretty close at this point in time. And you can see he's really resorting to using everything available to him, spamming the grenades, spamming everything he can. Nice little angle here on those grenades onto the mega spot. And Cypher is looking still quite good on this mega defense. But Redden is also spawning at the same time, so Cypher's going to leave it up so he can pressure. Great move from oh, Cypher, man. but Demon, with an even better move, does so much damage. Lovely engagement from Demon, really, really yeah, nice. Yeah. And now Red is up on the spot. Demon ready to pressure, ready to keep the angles available to him. And uh, <laughs> Cypher, <laughs> what did he write there? He wrote, everything is so easy, yeah? <laughs> I don't know. So, so wha on what ping are the two players playing? Uh, 48 for Demon and 62 for Cypher. Okay, not too bad. That's not too bad. The modern day anti lag. It's yeah. definitely nothing to be uh, complained about too much. Oh, the rocket coming oh from man. Cypher and Demon <laughs> dies. And Mega's up. Huge play from Cypher there to switch the game around. Could have gone quite nasty from there as Demon started to really build the momentum up, but yeah. short lived it was. Nasty rocket onto Demon there. And Cypher is below. The rail out. It has to hit those shots. And now Demon's like, I mean, how long is this rig going to be up? Yeah. But so the funny thing is that Cypher is in a position in the map where he could eventually go and grab every single other item. And, you know, it just be... And just make much more. Uh, yeah, you, you see it now. He basically make makes the hundred armor plus the mega. So so I don't know. I mean, this prolonged fight on the red armor is not really something you wanna. Yeah, it's, it's really not something that you wanna do for for too long. And it was yeah. Uh, nice pick up from Soy for that. Demon is starting to feel that the game is falling away from him. It's a seven frag deficit now. Two minutes. Pick up frags quickly on Arrow. But Demon has to make a big swing. He's got to get a big frag. Got to get that railgun, hit some good shots, and stop this pressure. Alleviate himself from Cypher's <laughs> harassment there. Cypher just standing still, yeah. knowing that. Turret mode. Yeah. It, it, this is maybe the new Cypher thing. Stand still. And yeah. Divert all energy to firepower. As Demon now dodges around. But Cypher is still in a great spot. He picks up the health. Oh, oh wow. Wow. <laughs> and Cypher kills us. I love this move. Yeah, yeah. This is it's a really right. smart move because look, he gets straight on the rail and he's, he's, I mean, he's, he was going to die anyway. Yeah. That's perfect. I love how quickly he made the decision too. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's really lovely. And also considering how easy it is to deny weapons in this map, you know, and then th that was really a quick move to just get hold maybe of a rail or a, yeah, probably a rail or an LG depending on where, where the move was. Yeah. And there you go. Demon getting a frag, but 23 points of health. And Cypher's like, well, what are you going to do about it, man? you got no health, no armor. And there is a rocket in your face. And Demon goes down. So this is great, looking great for Cypher's prospects to stay alive in the tournament because, of course, this was match point for Demon. And this has to be a really nice map for Demon, I think, yeah. because the potential for him to take this is actually quite good. Oh, Whereas, good. Oh, if, we, if we go to, like, you know, Lost World or Cat, well, Campgrounds is a DMT, but if we go to Lost World or Blood Run, 
demon's in a lot of trouble. There you go, jumping downstairs, a minute and a half left. And you, you're going to call it for the cypher right now? Yeah, you brought it to yeah that's I mean, it's... It would be amazing for Dima to do uh, uh, a comeback here. Do you have any thoughts about how this one went? Or I, I don't know, I just feel... I'm feeling that Cypher... On this map, Cypher is just overall better. And that even even if Cypher was winning, he was pissed that he was not hitting the shots and he was the one typing on the chat. You know, and the funny thing is that, you know, he was winning already, so it's... It's as if in his mind he should have crushed Demon, not just just win the map slightly. Um, I don't know. I I think that combat-wise, a, de a Demon really did well. It's just that it's so hard. It's so hard against uh, Cipher. He he has this ability of just to stay at your face and really play the dual game without without doing the predefined kind of moves. Yeah. That that you know. We, I mean, it's so it's so hard to be concentrated and do that that we all rely on doing certain things. And uh, and Cipher is just good at you know being in that line that we were talking about earlier. Yeah, definitely. The mindset is a huge aspect. And you know, actually, I got news: the agent won the first map against Strength, six to two, and lost well. Okay, got it. Somewhat expected result, I guess. I I think so. At least I think Strength isn't in his best quake shape. And Agent, of course, is in amazing quake yep. shape. And I think uh, Agent was probably always a, an opponent that was difficult for strengths. So, not too surprising. But we'll see actually who will end up winning that. Who would you like to win that more out of Agent and strengths? Who do you want to see? I can check I in the brackets for you if you want so you know who strengths can be okay. up against. I think probably Agent because of the drama. Mainly, the drama. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's likely that there will be drama involved. Um, on the other hand, I mean, it's you know, it's nice to have strengths back. Well, and it's, it's the winner of this of that plays against Cooler or Twister. Okay. So you could have strengths Cooler, maybe strengths one. Yeah, yeah. Depends how badly you want strengths Cooler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm actually happy with both of them winning. I mean, it's not it's not like you know a huge. Uh, you know, it, it's thing for you. It, yeah, yeah, it, it's okay. Good. Well, we're going to Demon Cipher on the third Three, map. It is two, campgrounds, one. and this is definitely an interesting one. Let's see the spawns. We've got Demon with the rockets, and like that new Cipher with the LG. He goes aggressive, but Whoa. Demon <laughs> did the rocket. Frag movie. Straight in the face. Or one, two, three, and Demon now. Oh, Cipher goes aggressive. Yeah, interesting move from Cypher. I think it's a nice one. But the thing is, is, is you have to, it's the gamble. Will my opponent hit those rockets? Yeah, yeah, those, those are just fantastic rockets. And and now, I would, I don't know, would Cypher push more? I mean, he definitely can push enough to, to get some items, but the question is, you know, wow, it's really challenging for everything. It seems like oh, it's, it's going full steam, but I, I don't know if it pays really off. Well. Yeah, I love I love the first two. The first two were really good, and but I feel like he wasted that hundred armor he had there. Yeah. Um, he could have built that into something at red, with some position, yeah. but it felt rushed. Um, and it, I guess it's always difficult to make the call because we have hind hindsight's twenty twenty. So we'll see what happens. But uh, Demon definitely in a commanding position with two frags, and we're now again in the spot where Cipher has to break control, like on Furious Heights. Yeah. I mean, uh, there is probably nothing he can do for the Mega, uh, but if he manages to, you know, stack up at least, well, he's in, he now can guess the timing of Red just based on the position. I don't know if he dares to do damage there. <laughs> Actually, it's funny. Demon is 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 just baiting him. Probably he just took took the Red now, so Cypher now sees it, and. I like the fact that this is playing, you know, so slow and, and kind of silent. It's, it's really... Makes you miss silence. <laughs> I, the silence is never a very silent map, but yeah. Cypher is trying to defend this Mega. This is a great play. Manages to wow. win it too. And Demon there is in the, in the kind of a... I mean, he was ex really expecting to take that, I think. Yeah, it's, that's kind of a... And he misses those two rails. That's really huge. This gives Cypher an in back into the game. And there you go, another pickup of a rail onto Demon, and Cypher goes for the challenge. He likes this, but I mean, even though he hit those two rails, he's still it's behind on stack, and he's, he's positionally in, in a disadvantage. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I, 
I could see that working for Cypher, <laughs> but it was still kind of degenerate. No, what I what I really liked of the of the sneaky way he picked the oh, okay, just bike could actually be horrible stuff for Cypher, and indeed it is. Uh, what I liked of the previous move of Cypher was, um, you know, the the player in control doesn't really want to be in the bottom because it's kind of a horrible place yeah. to be. But this leaves out some, some somewhat the space for the other player to kind of sneakily uh, get into that area. Um, so so that, that was really a nice a nice move. Um, and even now, I just I just like to see these good players that have like a ridiculous uh, amount of health, like twenty or something, and still they yeah. they know that they can do this kind of things. This is really knowing when you can push or when Whoa. you cannot. And what? <laughs> that was a very strange rocket, but it now Cipher has actually switched the game around, and. Can he recover the frags? It's going to be up to Demon to now play out of control. Demon cannot really challenge for anything. It's almost a situation where you're like, if Demon didn't have all the weapons, he would almost be in a spot where he should just kill himself with the 20 health because he just cannot do anything now. But he has all the weapons, so that really, really saves him a lot of running around. And there is the Mega pickup from Cypher. Demon heard it. He was above. He heard when the Mega is going to be. He's got that item time clocked in now. And I would love for him to do a little peak rail, but there you go. Now Cypher's aggressively coming onto Demon. Wow. And got to be so careful. Demon is facing again, but Cypher not with the rail out just there. Oh, the, the rocket jump up. Nice. I actually thought from Cypher's perspective it would be a fake rocket jump, and then Demon would peek and rail him or something, but <laughs> <laughs> didn't see that. Yeah. And Demon now is under pressure at the yellow but Cypher misses the shot but he's got position in front of the Mega and now he has to rocket jump up great move from Cypher cannot let Demon get position on him on that red and Demon running back to the yellow so now Demon's just going to try and play for the yellow you can see how active Demon is being even though he's out of control he's always forcing Cypher to move around so that every, so Cypher has wasted time oh, and this oh this is horrible yeah that that was position I mean he was too close to the wall so he couldn't really Get back and yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. Yeah. This could actually start the stream of frags that uh, Cypher needs. So Demon really has to try and slow Great it move. down. Demon stole the Mega. Cypher's perfect play there would be to go for the Mega, but he wasn't 100% sure where Demon was. So he decided to go for the red and. Now that is something that Demon got, that Mega, so the Demon's not in a good position, he's kind of trapped here. This is much better for Cypher, because Cypher has places to go, and he has weapons, and Demon has none of oh. that. And now Demon's going to get the red. <laughs> oh god, this is a mistake from Cypher as well, sticking around for too long, not prioritizing the items. Because there's no way that Demon should have a chance to get this Mega. Now Cypher has to rely on good rockets. He hits the rockets, but that's the thing. Like, you don't know if and you're going to hit those rockets. For, he goes for the frag. And, and leave, leave Mega up. What the? He must have thought the Demon had taken it in the fight. But that doesn't make sense because he, he killed him so easily. <laughs> oh my god, this is really strange from Cypher. But he's again pressured to hit the shots, and now he misses the shots. And. Oh man. This is really oh uncharacteristic of Cypher. I, I don't know, I mean, it could have worked. What if, you know, a demon could have spawned there and it could have been such a good gamble, but uh, yeah, it didn't work. It's really weird because, like, he would have heard the sound, like, the Mega makes, like, when the items spawn, they make a little sound. Yeah. When they uh, appear, like, like a whoop, like, kind of sound. And Cypher was right next to it and just ran past it. So strange. And then giving away the... Ra okay. Well, Cypher's now in a position where he has to come back three frags. <laughs> And he cannot be thinking about the mistakes he's made. No. He has to be thinking about the present. And there he finds Demon, who in the present is raining the crap out of him. And their defensive rockets are going to break Cypher. And Cypher loses oh. the game. So clearly he was feeling those mistakes. Oh. Yeah. He's yeah. Th those mistakes happen. He was like, oh my god. Like, he, it's, it's one of those situations where you get so angry at yourself because you know you're better than that. Yeah. I think. And Cypher, Cypher left. And he didn't even... GG or anything. I mean, yeah, he did a stream of like like crazy mistakes. Yeah, it's like like leaving up the mega and then letting demon re uh, steal the red and then yeah, I don't know. He probably was just not. I don't know, not confident. This is the thing with Cipher online. Yep. His uh, his mentality is a lot. His focus is a lot worse. I think his composure is a lot worse than on land. Maybe he needs land to really feel the the kind of importance of what he's doing 
to really mm, push him. I think I think it's not that. It's more, it's more about what Quake is and how it works in LAN. Um, you know, it's just a d kind of a different game, I guess. It's 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 more it's more about that. And on that note, we will go to a quick break. And unlike Cypher, we will announce our departure. So we'll see you guys very shortly for more awesome action. I believe po Pony and Pavel will be the next game that we cover. And that should be quite a, quite a good game. So stick around, tell your friends about it, hit that follow button to support us. And we'll see you right after this. <laughs>